Hi everyone, I'm Emily from The Book Geek. This is Layla. And um, this week we're going to be doing the first in a series of what I'm going to call question time. And this is basically just to answer some of the questions that I get asked a lot either on YouTube or on the blog. Questions like, how do you read so fast? Do you prefer paperback, hardback or ebook? What's your favourite book of all time? What the hell is the accent supposed to be? But today, the actual question I'm going to address is one that I get asked a lot, both by people who mean well and are concerned for my reading habits, and by people who like to troll my reviews. The question is this. You seem to really hate most romance books. Why do you keep reading them? Well, let me first eliminate the misconception that I do not like romance. That is not true. I have loved romance in the past. I just happen to be very critical of the romance genre. And I'm specifically talking about heterosexual new adult romances. Because that's pretty much the only kind most of the time. But I do like romance. And I actually don't think that I am a picky romance reader. I can sum up, like, like say if you are an aspiring romance author and for some strange, bizarre reason you want to know exactly what it would take to please me, I can sum it up in three basic things. Number one, sexual chemistry. Or not even sexual chemistry. Let's take it back before that. Chemistry. So you have this, in this case, a guy and a girl character. Uh, these days, for some strange reason, every new adult romance author has them with like an erection on page one, juice is flowing on page two. I don't care about the guy's erection in, on page one, in chapter one. To be honest, I'm not gonna care about it for a good portion of the book. If you want me to care about them, if you want me to want them to get together, want them to have sex, even just a plain old kiss, you've got to build up to it. I've got to like her and I've got to like him, or even at least care about them. And once you've built them up and made them into interesting characters in their own right, then you can start to work on bringing them together and making me give a damn about whether they actually get it on. Because I don't know why there seems to be a complete lack of the slow build that I used to love. I I used to be reading books and it would get to like the pages like leading up to their first kiss and I would be on the edge of my seat. I'd be like, oh my god, just kiss already. And that is what I want to feel because that is exciting. And that's just a kiss. I mean, the first time they should have sex, I should be like on the floor like... Number two, don't make your female character the kind of female character that hates all other female characters in the book. I don't know why authors think that I, well, that anyone would remotely like that kind of person, because most of the time it's told in first person narrative, so you're inside their head and they're, they're like walking to the scene and judging another girl because she's wearing a trashy dress, so oh my god, she must be such a slut. And all I can think is, Am I supposed to like you? Because right now I'm rooting for the other girl to get the guy. You seem like a bitch. And not in the female empowering way of being a bitch. Just regular, you're an ass. And I, I, it's just not attractive to me. Like, why, why are you creating these characters that are mindlessly hating other women? And are being jealous of every other woman? I think, Every other woman. Every other woman. And I think it's actually supposed to be um, a way to make you think of the, the female protagonist as a good girl. But good girls aren't interesting anyway. And I, I don't mean that you can't have a, an innocent character, or a character who's a virgin, or anything like that. But if you build up a character around the notion that she is a good girl, that's, that's not a character. That is a caricature, and it's boring. Number three. So I said that, like, 
I am in the minority and I realized that this seems to sell thousands, maybe millions of copies of books. So, like I said, if you are an aspiring romance author, you might not want to listen to me. But for me, there is nothing attractive about the kind of male characters that say things like, I, I don't make love, I fuck, or if we were together, I would have to own you. Because I don't actually have a problem with like BDSM or all of these like dominance and submission relationships. But let's get real. If you liked a guy and you were thinking about maybe having a relationship with him or just sex with him, and then he says to you, if, if I had sex with you, I'd have to own you. Would you really be like, oh my God, give it to me now? Or would you be like, you're a douche. So really, that's it. I'm, I'm not a, a picky romance reader and I, I do like romance books, but just do those three things. A guy who's not a douche, a girl who's not a bitch, and sexual chemistry. Is that too much to ask? If you are tired of hearing me complain, and would actually like to get some rec recommendations on romance books that I think do it right, then stick around. At the end of this video, there's going to be a list of my personal romance recommendations. Okay. Thanks for listening.